welcome back to my channel and today I have another really super cute Christmas DIY for you. So let me show you what you're going to need to make the project. I saw this flag at um, Old Time Pottery and it's of Santa and his little bag of toys and I thought it was gorgeous and I wanted to turn it into a picture for my living room. Now it was uh, $4.99 but they had it on sale, so I actually got it for three dollars and something, okay? So you're going to need a flag, and this flag is 12.5 by 18, okay? And so then I needed a canvas, so I already had this canvas. It's a 16 by 20 stretched canvas, and um, so I know it's a bigger than the than the picture so what I'm gonna do is I cut had my husband cut me some strips and I'm gonna put it around it but I wanted it to to have like a an like an old rich look like you would think Santa would have so I painted it and I sprinkled glitter all around the sides so you're gonna need a 16 by 20 canvas and then the paint I used is the multi-surface paint I bought at Walmart in warm buff and then the glitter is this glitter, extra fine glitter that I've been using, and I bought it at Walmart as well, and it's gorgeous. You're gonna need some Mod Podge to adhere the, pick, the flag to the canvas, a foam brush, a glue gun, and then these strips, it's just plywood, as you can see right here, and I painted them with the warm buff, and then I sprinkled this glitter over it while it was still wet. And you really don't have hardly any fallout at all, just a little. But you could always spray it with a little bit of light hairspray. But I'm not even going to bother to do that. So I cut these, well I didn't, my husband cut these strips for me to match the 16 by 20 canvas. So you're going to need a strip for the top and a strip for the bottom. It's that simple, okay? So what we're going to do is I've already... Um, let me push this down so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to try to get him straight. Okay, so let me put this aluminum foil down just to protect everything from the Mod Podge. And what I'm going to do is I've already gone and put, let me move these strips over here. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, what I did is I laid down my flag, and it's not perfect because it's, it's just a stretched material. What I did is I, I hope you can see good. I laid down my flag, and I just took a pencil and went right around the edge of where I want it, okay? Now, okay, I'm going to take my Mod Podge and pour it into this little bowl here. I'm going to move my flag over here for now. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put Mod Podge all over this canvas to start off with so that it will adhere the flag. So all I'm doing is putting a thin coat of Mod Podge on the canvas This is going to be really simple, but it's going to give such a nice look. I've seen pictures a lot like this in uh, Kirkland and Hobby Lobby, and they want so much for them. And um, I always look at them, but I don't get them. And then sometimes I'm like, well, I like that picture if it was like this. This way you can get exactly what you want, and you can have fun crafting it. Okay, so you just want your Mod Podge all over this because we want to totally adhere it. To the canvas. Make sure you get around 
the edge where the top meets the side of the canvas. Okay, I think that's good. Now we're going to take our flag and we're just going to lay it out where and I'm going to pull this little strip out of it where we put our little markings to help us get it as close to where we wanted it. And like I said, this, um, this fabric stretches some. So I'm just going to pull it over. You got to work with it just a little bit. And then we want to smooth it out. And now I've got it a little too much over there. That's why it's good to mark it first so that you can get it fairly accurate because it's really hard. This is, like I said, and not a um, straight piece. Okay, and we've got everything smoothed out. Now we're going to take our Mod Podge and sandwich it right on top. This could not be any easier. And I'm using the matte Mod Podge. So it's going to give it a slight sheen, not a real bright one, but a slight one. I'm so I've been so excited to show you all this. I love it. And just make sure you get it on on it really well. And try to have like even strokes coming down. And then when this dries, we will put the strips around it and turn it into a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous picture. Okay, so I'm going to continue putting this on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and what I did is I have the Mod Podge all over the picture, and I'm just going to let it dry. I may actually try taking a hair dryer set on... Um, cool or warm and speed up the drying process so um, I'll let you know what I do when I come back I'll be back. okay guys I'm back I took a hair dryer to it and as you can see it's totally clear I mean it's it's bright colors again and it's adhered and what I did is I just used it on um, warm and low and I just went like this I didn't leave it in one spot I just kept moving it and I kept it about this far away from the picture probably about like that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue our strips this is so adorable I love it okay and this is the right side and this is gonna be our left side and this is gonna be our top and I'm gonna have them overlapping I think this is going to be gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the side strips on first, and I'm just putting them flush. And with paint, with me painting the, um, the side, you're not going to be able to tell that this isn't like one continuous piece. But you could do whatever you wanted. It is so customizable. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, I love it. Santa looks so cute. Okay. Now, the only thing you have to do is just make sure that this is cut perfectly. Is just put it right there and press down. And that is all you have to do. Okay? 
Then we're going to bring this one over here. Do the same thing. Just put your hot glue. All along it. And if you had a um, piece of canvas that was the correct size of your um, flag, you wouldn't even have to do this, but I just think it adds so much to it. I love it. Okay, and then put it on the edge, like I said, get it lined up and press down, okay? And we are almost through with our beautiful Santa picture. This is so easy and very cost effective because at Hobby Lobby, like I said, in any place, even Walmart, you would pay a lot. Okay, now we're just going to get this lined up at the bottom. Make sure it's flush on both ends and press down. Okay, we only have one more to do. And then our Santa magic will be finished. But I love this color because I thought that, um, to me, Santa would have all this glitz and, and everything. going to get this. I mean, it's even easy to put this on <laughs> and press down. Okay, let me clean up around here so you can get a good look at it and see what it looks like. It's absolutely adorable. Okay, and here we have it. I'll let you see it up close. It is beautiful, and in person, it really glitters. But I thought that this warm buff matched the color in his cuffs, and I just thought it looked so expensive. I really do love it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys. Okay guys, I thought I'd hop back on real quick and show you what it looks like hanging in my living room. I absolutely love it. It just looks like Santa magic everywhere. It's so sparkly, so beautiful. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And it was so simple and inexpensive to make. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.